everyone, you're watching the Green Girls TV and we are here with the Lisa Ling of Planet Apparel from CNN. TheGreenGirls.com Can you tell us about your experience? Well, uh, they asked me to be part of Planet Peril this year uh, to explore the battles that are going on around the world over uh, natural resources and just resources because there has been such a huge demand for them globally now. So um, it was really an eye-opening experience. We explored uh, the, the results of uh, oil exploitation and the demise of so many uh, species of animals that are uh, in, in very, very very close to becoming extinct. Um, so yeah, I was really proud to be part of it. From all of the experience that you had during filming this, what was uh, the one that had more, the most impact? Well, all of the stories that I was sent to do had a huge impact on me, but I think the thing that really hit home the most was when I visited Nigeria, which was, Nigeria is one of the richest oil countries in the world, and the United States is really reliant upon it because it's the fifth largest supplier of oil to the United States. So it's a country where hundreds of billions of dollars have been made from oil, but that money has not trickled down to the average Nigerian, and Nigeria now is a desperately poor country and it lacks basic services yet it's so rich and the thing that was most shocking to me is Americans have no concept of it despite the fact that we are so reliant on this country so it begs the question are Americans sort of indirectly funding the conflict that's going on there and uh, unfortunately I believe the answer to be yes. What do you think is one thing that you've learned from this experience that you didn't know before? The thing I try to do in my reporting in, uh, across the board is just to keep an open mind about things. And for Planet in Peril, it's, it's shocking how much conflict is already happening right now as a result of these resources. And there was a period where the United States could consume all these resources at will, but now there's so much globa global competition. I mean, China and India have added a completely new dimension to the whole question. And so now more than ever, we need to really start asking where everything is coming from, where, where resources are coming from, and how can we start to alleviate the burden from the earth and from the planet. What was going through your mind while men was shooting guns right, I mean, feet away from you? Um, it was definitely a little disconcerting. Um, the, the MEND organization, the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta, they're a very, very well-armed militia group. And it didn't seem like they had the best command of these weapons, but yet they've been successful in striking oil pipelines and raising the price of oil around the world. So regardless of how ragtag they are, they've been successful. I think that the most important thing for Americans to do right now is to just be as conscious as possible about things. Ask a lot of questions and really start asking about where all these resources that we are consuming without regard are coming from because I think it will surprise a lot of people. TheGreenGirls.com